Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. You know who else can shoot the hell out of it? Jordan Hawkins. You know who is the last lottery pick? Jordan Hawkins. Jordan Hawkins. Off the board, number 14, going to the Pelicans. He's joining Zion Williamson, maybe. He's joining Brandon Ingram, maybe. He's joining a roster that has... um. In theory, a couple guys that can really create off the bounce and need some floor spacing. I think it makes a lot of sense. I, I kind of I like that fit. What do you guys think, RC? What do you think? Everybody's star for shooting. He has the size. I worry about him defensively. I think he's just thin, and he has good height. I think he's thin. Uh, again, we talked about it before. These guys are going back to back. Now you're you're, you're starting to see team draft see, because we're getting into some of this area now where teams are. You know, right there on the playoff, you know, in the playoffs and, and or right there to play in games and having a guy that can knock down shots matters. Like we're approaching here now with, you know, the Pelicans, they're a team that when healthy, we know they're going to be there. And you need somebody to stretch and make, you know, stretch the floor and, and make shots. And the question I would have for him again is, is just guarding people. I think mm -hmm. he's going to struggle somewhat defensively and. We don't know what this what the Pelican organization is going to do right now. There's so much rumors swirling about Zion. I don't know if they're going to make a move. I think they may decide to keep this thing together for one last year, and let's see what happens with it. But I like Jordan Hawkins' size, ability to make shots. I just worry about him defensively early in his career. You know what I love about the pick, though, is the fact that C.J. McCollum was there. Great pro and, uh, Yeah, great pro But they're form. totally different players, though. C.J. can boogie with it. They've got a little more wiggle with them. I, I don't know. I don't see that being, you know, Jordan's game. Yeah, but is there is there going to be a point where Jordan picks that up? Or it, it, his lack of showing that does that have anything to do with the system that he was in? No, uh, that's just not that's not what he is. I, he's more straight line. I think he's more of shot fake, put it down straight line, wiggling he's with not, it. That ain't him. He's. I don't think that he is a guy that is ever going to be someone that can. Um, he ain't a ball screen guy. No, he can't. He's not going to beat you off the dribble off a standstill. Like if he comes off of a curl and he has like a half a step on you already, he can get to the basket and he can go dunk on you. But that is if he needs a running start. Like he's not someone that's going to square you up, jab one way and get to the basket. Like he doesn't have that first step burst. What he has is an ability to be able to run off screens and sprint into shots and catch and shoot while running full speed better than anybody. I think in the NBA outside of maybe Duncan Robinson, like he is, he's going to walk in and be like a top 10 off of a screen shooter in the that league. Is, so you need a, that is wild. No way. Wow. That, that is watch. a wild. That, I'm a Yukon. I, that is watch. a wild. I am a Yukon. That's a Yukon bias coming watch out. Of you. Like, watch his like, ability. That is I'm such a you. wild statement right there. Watch. A top watch. 10 no, 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 off the run wild. shooter. He's biased. But, okay. You know he's biased. Dude, running go running up and down screen. rosters, right, dude? They got like four Watch on him. one team. That's like, hey, what's hey, what's our Twitter done it. guy handle? What's, what's the Twitter guy, Mr. Hotballs? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you make that comment, <laughs> Mr. Hotballs. That's what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> you're just firing up him. Like we don't, we don't, that we don't need is, to get this going yet. No, God. look, <laughs> look, he he's holy crap. I think that he is going to make a uh, a creative coach and someone that's really smart in how they use guys off the ball he's gonna he's gonna make him a weapon right and i don't know if that's willie green or not i I didn't watch enough of the pelicans they're not good enough for me to pay attention to before the playoffs start um but i think that if you're smart and you you are creative with what you run that you'll be able to turn jordan hawkins to a weapon and i think that with if you can manipulate defenses with a guy with his shooting ability and you got guys like brandon ingram and cj mccollum and zion williamson out there I really like the fit. I think he's a weapon. I think he's someone that you can use. I'm not to, mad at the fact that he's a weapon. I'm just blown away with the fact that you said he might be top 10 already. Dude, he's a buck 80 right. soaking wet. Yeah, and like, dude, you come, trying to come off a screen in the NBA. Yeah, dude, and people, so. the guys guarding him are going to be 215, 220 pounds. For, yeah. To be able to come straight in. Hey, look, you're forgetting something, man. He's going to New Orleans. You know how good the food is down there? Jordan Talkin is going to put on 30 pounds in the first week. <laughs> you see what Zion Williamson looks like? He's going to be on the I, I worry about him. Hey, hey Zion's been spending part. all his time in Dallas. He ain't even been in New Orleans. Yeah, I think he'll struggle to crack the rotation early, but he'll evolve into a hell of a player. I think his, his ability to shoot will be great, but he need dudes. He need do, dudes with him. And they got dudes in, in the, you know, at New Orleans now. Hey, ESPN showing Ray Allen. No. Late career 
Ray Allen. Ray Michael Allen. Because young Ray Lay Allen. Cr- young young career floor. Ray Allen was a freaking was a problem. score. He was a dude. He was a score. Yeah. Like, he like was he a dog. He was a dog. And like yeah. that is that is disrespectful to Ray. Ray Allen going there and dunk on. No, him. what what he is, what he is is uh is modern the the ceiling for him is modern Rip Hamilton. Right, Rip Hamilton was running off the of screens and hitting twelve footers and fifteen footers. But, but my concern with that, and I agree with you, is no one plays like that anymore. Mm-hmm. They're not just running floppy action, and you just run off from side to side. No, that's why I'm saying like you need a creative coach. You need someone that's going to kind of understand how to how to utilize that ability. I don't think Jordan Hawkins is going to be a starter in the NBA. I think he's an off the bench guy, dude. If I, he's top ten in anything in the NBA, he's a freaking starter. So like we're going Duncan against Duncan Robinson, like, dude. You are <laughs> no, no, wild. no, that's so not true. Duncan Robinson, Robinson, Duncan Robinson might be the best shooter on the planet, and he lost his starting job to Max Strews. Okay, who? who? Duncan Robinson might be the best shooter Stop on the planet. It. Stop, it. Shooter. Stop it. Stop it. All right, we have the number fifteen pick in uh, Atlanta Hawks. Adama Sanogo. Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is, AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one, and man, that could not be more true it's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of february and the month of march when you are in my business and ag1 was exactly the supplement that i needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional basis for the day i've continued that into april i've continued that into may and i'm going to continue that the rest of the summer all i have to do is mix a scoop of ag1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and i'm ready to go do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day if a comprehensive solution Solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.